If you give me 50k, I'll talk and go. So, how you not there, my people? Welcome back. Happy Democracy Day to my fellow uh, Nigerians and uh, another Nigeria that is here with me. Uh, celebrity local man. Okay, celebrity local man. Don't change the name today. So, Tunubu 4. While he was trying to, after addressing, you know, after they do our attention march and soldier do everything, he will enter that motto. So I will carry you, carry the president around to show solidarity and everything. Everybody will salute her. I don't know whether the person may suppose her sister. Why no her sister, her president, were her president for? Yakata. Ah, he fought well. But he still stand up as much. Huh? But he fought. He fought well. He fought not be saying, I fought, be like, say, he just keep one leg. He fall. <laughs> he, he fall where? But he stand up back. I don't know whether he stand up back. Nana caught the the court cut for there. Because if he fall, if he stand up, it means he at Nigeria fall, then Nigeria go stand up. <laughs> <laughs> but if you don't stand up, the carrier will all the money be that. Too. See now. The man, this man, supposed to assist the president. You understand? I don't know whether the protocol be that. So supposed to assist him. I don't know that mean at the protocol. Now I know make a conno say. I know okay. Oh Yakata. <laughs> so now they quickly cut cut the thing from there. Uh, many things the many thing <laughs> President Matok. Uh many things they affect the man shall. Number one, old age. Number two, our minimum wage must say they are within the many things for sometimes because many people are not happy. So I wish we since you say you get up, thank God for that. Nigeria goes to get up back to their feet. <laughs> and that's what we're trying to see. Yeah, so Nigeria must stand up uh to their feet no matter what. Yeah. And uh, of course, you know now currently the economy is not uh, pretty looking good. The economy don't fall. Rice now, rice. How much for rice? Now? Yeah, yeah, it's about eighty something now. Hey, really? You don't go back to eighty. It is something, but dollar they go down now. Dollar no affect our food again, you know, before. Now that time we don't, you know, Nigeria get their own crease for it. <laughs> they say, uh, they don't come uh, down. what up here, what are 15 naira? You know, the dollar was 180, mm. 1800, 1900. Now this ride is 75,000. But dollar, though, they yeah. don't come down to it. Though they dangle between 1400 to 1500. No, we everything because even normal Gary will be saying that we did dollar cassava. So why? Wickedness. We don't talk so about the dollar now, but when when dollar they hide, they, 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 they hide. They, they hide if they go down, no, they put them when the dollar they hide, they hide them on that dollar edge. Now, when dollar come, they hike. They don't go down, down. they don't stay for one. Everybody just do on their own come office. Okay. Move over and base now. Um, okay, or just I don't know how they come for different states. There is one global of base now, three thousand, three five, three two, depend. So, what do you expect? My guy, my guy, make me gather go tired yesterday. Just the complain, just the complain, no, just the complain, just the complain. He's not safe. Ah, it would be like say I would stay for my house oh, because if you just step left, left grass like this, man, no, complain, no. complain, complain, complain. It's ah. not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny at all. You just see people they smile. They just try to they make them safe happy. The joy, the continue joy. So what do you do the right thing so they don't go for again? But it still reassure Nigerians though. It give it the reassurance that the country will be good, everything will work well, and they uh, you know talk a lot of things as well just to encourage uh, Nigerians. Also talk about the minimum wage. He said they go quickly send the approval, minimum wage to the Senate for approval. For how much? We never know. That's why when I thought say labor. And the federal government, they, don't they do already that. agree on price. This family they do not politics. Na papa, they do Person no go understand. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Person no go understand. But however, whatever they want bring in, may may they bring her in. There's nothing else we, 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 we can do now. And the things are getting harder. It's getting harder. Very very very. Things harder. are getting harder. Before now, we thought say ah the president I get uh, I say get full trust on the president too. For example, if they tell you me you choose between Wari and Tunubu, honestly speaking, I wish I would choose. I don't want anyone. You choose anyone out of them house. 
<laughs> when you come to Nogai president, yes, you must choose one. You must not force me now. Now democracy, <laughs> I did. You must not go. I don't get any candidate to talk. Uh, no, me, I will choose. I will, I will only choose a two people. Okay. Honestly speaking. Honestly You've speaking. seen only two people with men with a big president with that. I will choose. When you come to the role of all the president uh, uh, ourselves, I will always choose to go over by far, hundred percent. Tinobu looks like somebody who knows exactly what is going on. Tango, you say he look like. I no, like let me look. Sorry, Tinobu is the person who knows exactly what is going on. Now the first language will be the correct one. He look like. <laughs> now they don't look like. He knows exactly what is going on in his administration. Then, or like the previous one. You one understand? Is, one and uh, there is no too much cover up here. You understand? I don't know. There are still little cover up, but no too much cover up on things. Uh, and uh, when they talk, they say Dangote refinery never start to the work. He does the work, oh, but he never start to the distribute. He will the refinery. I don't know where they will do. No, no. He, they will, yes, see, he work tomorrow. Yes, no, no. Work. He they receive crude oil. He they receive the refine already. He they store them. Eh? Now July, according to them, according to him, we talk with the whole mouth between tenth July. Now he will start to distribute uh, PMS, and he also talk and say is the he, he petroleum made they do is the best in the world. Say the petroleum made they bring come give us to Nigeria, eh? Say na fourth grade. Now when we test you, say now, Nigeria we... Africa is the dump site of bad petroleum. Baba, now when you come and say nobody go say mama soup no sweet. <laughs> and put the advertise so I will get some little coffee there. Wait, yes, I will get the democracy. Wait, 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 wait. and put on the advertise. I know say they tell like, I know talk say they talk to, I know talk say they talk like. But the market will stop when we feed the product. Now we, we talk, ah, this is for a good though. That time, say if you uh, go first, station, not in a damn good thing for this. This uh, uh, damn good thing for a better. I don't need to buy. 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 I don't need to they are so far made the cost poor for your motor now. You don't lose now. That one thing now. But for a, for no the knocking. For a, maybe 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 like say you know suppose cause trouble for you for like ten years. They are so far your motor suppose get problem for like ten years. If you tell me say your use. motor will get problem, you for can't it. get all those uh, for pump the injector, all those things. But say engine for can never knock it. Uh, I don't know. Okay, now make we listen to Otunubu now. At least make you get some kind of confidence. But I don't yet talk to you. But my this one again. My fellow Nigerians, let me begin by congratulating all of us for witnessing the celebration of another Democracy Day today, the 12th day of June 2024. This year also marks our nation's 25 years of uninterrupted democratic governance. On this day, 31 years ago, we entered our rights of passage to becoming a true and enduring democratic society. Going through this passage was hard and dangerous. During the fateful six years that followed, we fought and struggled for our natural rights as human beings put on this earth by the divine hand of our creator. We lost great heroes and heroines along the way. In this struggle, the winner of June 12, 1993 presidential election, Chief MKO Abiola, the most significant symbol of our democratic struggle, his wife, Kudrat, General Sheo Musa Yadua, and Pa Alfred Iwani, amongst others, sacrificed their very lives. They briefly surrendered their fortunes so that our nation might have a better one. Let us honor the memories of Chief Anthony Enahol, Chief Abram Adesaya, Commodore Dan Suleiman, 
Chief Athon Wanko, Chief Chikwemeka Ezebe, Admiral Ndibusi Kanu, Chief Franco Kori, Chief Bolaige, Chief Adekunle Ajasi, Chief Gani Udaudi, Chief Ayo Fasami, Chief Gani Fawemi, Chief Olabi Idrojaye, Dr. Beko Ransom Kuti, Chima Ubani, and others who have transited to higher realm. The sacrifices of General Alani Akenyade, Professor Bolaji Akenyemi, Professor Wole Suinga, Chief Rav Obioha, Chief Colonel Adebayo, among many others, should never be forgotten. For at least six years, they bore the pain and difficulties of life in exile. While the exiled pro-democracy activists kept the fire burning, their comrades at home sustained the pressure on military leadership. Among the latter are Olisa Agbakoba, Femi Falana, Abdu Oro, Senator Shewusoni, Governor Ubasoni, Chivolu Falai, and other National Democratic Coalition leaders, such as Chief Ayo Adebanjo and Chief Ayo Padokun. The sacrifices they made and the precious gift brought about by their selfless devotion can never be repaid nor forgotten. We could not have won the battle against the dictatorship without the irrepressible Nigerian journalists who mounted the barricades along with the pro-democracy activists. We celebrate them today, along with their media establishments, such as The Punch, The Guardian, National Concord, Tribune, The News and Tempo, and Tell Magazines. The undemocratic government of the day proscribed these media establishments and jailed their journalists for standing for free speech and civil liberties and the sanctity of the June 12th elections. That's why the leather might of the authoritarian government, what appear to be high and unyielding walls of dictatorship came tumbling down. The dismal fortress exists no longer. The power of an idea, the power of the people proved more potent than all the guns, the munitions, and the threat of the strong men. The nation exceeded the yoke of dictatorship in 1999 to become the most populous democracy on African soil, the beacon of democratic self-determination for the black race and one of the long largest democracies in the world. This change stands as a pivotal moment in human history. From this change, we shall never turn, nor shall honors of mankind's progress forget the sublime meaning of this great moment. Today, 25 years later, we celebrate the silver anniversary of our journey in democracy. We have studied the course. Democracy is neither a foreign nor abstract concept devoid of real life meaning for us. Neither can we afford to reduce or minimize it to being nothing but the mere holding of people. We are going to uh, continue the video immediately after we are done. But the thing we say, honestly speaking, looking at that speech so far, you fall in love with that speech. I've not listened to many democracies' uh, speech from the past president, and I know. The past president, whoever categorically mentioned names of people who fought, both Awusa, Igbo, and Yoruba names, in one sentence, just to show us where we are coming from. 
Come on, man. We try. It's a beautiful speech. Your speech, I go chop. <laughs> you try. I don't think uh, if I were uh, English, I know where I could go. I go to English. Good, this is good. So, go with it. You could measure them. Well, let's show you. He tried because the, the Nam, the day I was talking, they always come out, they let us know we think plan for us. Good. We were doing our former president, you know, send our papa. <laughs> so, our former president, you know, send, you know, send you. Most of the things they want to put with the president come outside. That time, we just say, don't they want country, they don't want country. <laughs> so, for that one, I give him, I give him turn up, I give him 001 for Tinufu for speech. Baba. But even though speech, you know, they food day, I would prefer we food day, we speech day, we down face. You be person, we chop. But we get data. We will carry from the listing. This is the video long. If you want to check the data, 2000 data to finish. <laughs> yeah, because you want to listen to pitch, the speech. No, it's trying. Yes, see, yeah, watch and we'll yeah, wait and see what you will do. Because based on the way we the sound, based on what you talk, what you sound convincing. It is sound like, ah, this man, God don't give us our savior. Mm -hmm. So, okay, why they don't pass you? Okay, now, I know why I like that, guys. So, I thank you very much for watching this boy here at this link. Catch you next time. Peace. And enjoy the rest of the video. Bye. Your deep selections. We have one candidate and party are do another. Why elections attract democratic attention? They are but one aspect of democracy. Democracy is a way of life that encompasses a broad outlook of which elections are but a part. As such, a nation can have elections without being democratic. But a nation cannot be truly democratic without holding elections. That we have established a tradition of holding transparent, open, and fair elections gives credence to our democratic standing. That we have experienced peaceful transitions of government affirms our democratic temperament. Fellow Nigerians, true democracy shined its light on the daily lives of the people who live under its nurturing wings. It affords us the freedom and liberty to think as we want, live where we want, and pursue whatever legitimate endeavor suits us. Democracy does not assume some false or false unity of opinion. In fact, democracy assumes that conflicting ideas and divine opinions shall be the order of the day, given the diversity and variety of the human experience. There must be diverse perspectives and viewpoints. What democracy demands is that we do not resolve differences through force and repression but to make allowance for the leg legitimacy of views that differ from our own. The other forms of government imposed against the will of the people. Democracy aims to make leaders who conduct themselves as servants of the common good, not as viceroys of the narrow interests of the might. My dear compatriots, Nigeria faced the decision of untold gravity 25 years ago, whether to veer towards better destination or continue aimlessly in fog of dictatorship. We made the right choice then. We must continue with that choice now. As Nigerians, we must remind ourselves that no matter how complicated democracy may be, it is the best form of governance in the long run. We must also be aware that there are those among us who will try to exploit current challenges to undermine, if not destroy this democracy 
for which so much has already been given. This is the great battle of our day and the major reason we specially celebrate this day as Democracy Day. The true meaning of the day is not to focus solely on the great deeds of the past that have brought us to this point. Yes, we pay eternal honor to those who laid down